It is Indiana in the morning. As always, we are presented by First Commonwealth Bank here on AM 1160 WCCS and 101.1 FM. And look across the microphone from me, and I see one, two, three, four, five <laughs> Homer Center basketball players. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. It's good to have you all in the studio with us here this morning as we talk about Homer Center Wildcat basketball, but more specifically the Kowalczyk Complex, where you will be playing tonight against West Shimok. And you ready? Yeah. yeah. You don't all have to speak at once. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet them all so folks know know the voices. We'll start with you, Lexi, on this side. Hi, I'm Alexis Lisak. Um, I'm Maggie Aron. Uh, Alexis Newhouse. Emily Wooster. Morgan Buggy. And there you go. And you get to play West Shemokin tonight. I'm, well, let's start with last night at, at practice at, at the Kavalchi Complex. What was it like? It was good. It's a little bigger court, but uh, we're ready. Yeah, Maggie, uh, that you like to shoot the three. <laughs> yep. <laughs> does, it, does that court intimidate you because you don't know exactly where you are in respect to the three-point line, or are you good with it? Um, no, I think I'll be okay with it tonight. Yeah? Yeah. Terrific. Now let's go the other direction. There's Morgan on the other side. Morgan gets in. You were shooting the three the other night. Too. Yeah, some. <laughs> What's interesting to me is I remember a game last year against Marion Center where all of a sudden – Morgan Buggy's knocking down threes all night long. <laughs> uh, but we don't expect that yeah. from you, but that's a great element to have to your game, right. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, that was, that was terrific. And, and then Thank we've you. got these two here in the middle. <laughs> uh, we've got Alexis Newhouse and Emily Wooster. Uh, and uh, we're, since you're in the middle, we need you to get a little bit closer to the microphone so we can hear you a little bit better. We'll start with you, Alexis. And uh, the game the other night in the semifinal game against Penn's Manor, uh, where you were going... I'm, I'm, you were penetrating to the basket a lot, uh, yeah. and you were running the floor probably as well as I've seen you run. Um, talk a little bit about that game and, and how you were able to, I, I don't know if identify that that was the way that you were going to approach her, or if, did that just open up for you? Uh, that just like opened up for me. I don't know. It's a big game. Just do what you have to do. Yeah. Yeah, and and then this Wooster girl over here, uh, Emily. Uh, you've got a matchup against Olivia Fasaro tonight, mm-hmm. and uh, one of the great things that I was talking to Olivia earlier this morning about was there's so many good guards in the Heritage Conference, yeah, uh, sure. and you're certainly one of them. And and we take a look at at that matchup, and and that's just going to be fascinating to watch. Is she difficult to play against? She's a little bit bigger than you. Yeah, and she's very quick. Yeah, good with the ball, can shoot. Yeah, very talented. When you get into those situations where you know you're going to, because you've got Mia uh, Oderson, who's very quick. You're very mm-hmm. quick. Olivia's very quick. You've got the girls from um, everybody's quick on Penn's Manor's team. Yeah, uh, even you know Salzburg, they've got quick guards. Uh, that, what great training, huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's talk about uh, um, the uh, the Cavalci complex and uh, the practice last night. What were some of the things that you found out? Morgan, we'll talk about you. Um, it was different for sure. The just the how big the court was and the baskets were they were different, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, um, Emily, as as the guard, you're going to have a lot more floor to run on, uh, and, <laughs> yeah. and and we know how if you have that lead late, um, uh, Coach Lasher likes to let you just handle the basketball <laughs> and look for the backdoor cuts and and get fouled on a big floor like that. Does that help you? Or I would assume that it does. Yeah, it, I think it will be to our advantage. Yeah. You got to get that lead, though, in order mm-hmm. to, to make that happen. Yep. <laughs> Let's talk to the other ladies. Uh, Alexis uh, and, and your experience at the on the big floor last night at the Cavalci Complex. What did that feel like? Um, it was the lights were really bright. Like, that was one <laughs> thing that was really different. But I think the court will help us. Like, it'll help us to our advantage to spread out the offense and get backdoor cuts and everything. And that's Alexis Newhouse. Now, Alexis Leesock, let's talk to you. Uh, because you have had such an interesting game. You go high post, you go low post, you shoot the three, uh, you'd like to drive to the basket, you use that left hand. On that big floor, uh, talk about practicing last night and and um, and with all of that space to run. Uh, what, what was that like for you? Uh, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. Uh, it'll be good for the game because I'll get to run around a little more, go in and out, <laughs> and yeah. shoot and go inside and in and out. Yeah. And Maggie, we've noticed something about you, your game this year as well, is uh, you're handling the basketball much more and much better. Uh, so um, uh, that floor, that practice last night, everything seemed to come together for you? Yeah, I think so. And like, since it is bigger, then I'll have more room to work and hopefully handle the ball well. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we've got the Homer Center basketball players in the studio with us this morning getting set for tonight's championship game at the Kowalczyk Complex. Uh, 
the Heritage Conference Championship inaugural championship night. How exciting is that for you? Anybody can answer that one. Very exciting. <laughs> yeah. We've so been exciting. looking forward to this moment forever. Yeah. Were, did you talk about it in the off season once it was announced or uh, as they yeah. were? Yeah, yeah, we did. We talked about it. This was the thing. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. was the thing to play for. And, of course, we're looking forward to District 6, and we yeah. know that uh, this is going to be great, great preparation for District 6, isn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, I have a question from a listener. It's for Alexis Lisak. <laughs> um, last year with the hand injury, uh, with, with the mono, with everything else, <laughs> oh uh, that wonderful junior season that you had yeah. for Homer <laughs> Center, how great is it to be able to be healthy and to be playing, just playing basketball again this it year? It feels good. Finally, I would be playing and not have anything wrong for once. <laughs> yeah. But you found out you had a left hand you didn't know you had, <laughs> yeah. though, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, well, that was, uh, I mean, just watching those struggles last year and, and the way that you did it, and you never complained. No, I just went through it and had to do something about it. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the challenge West Shemokin throws at us. Maybe we can call Coach Tom Lasher in here yeah. uh, to talk about this as well. Uh, Coach uh, uh, Tom Lasher, this is a West Shemokin team that uh, you beat at the buzzer. Uh, we you? did, and uh, it was a very good game. They're a good team, and we're looking forward to the rematch. Yeah. What are the big challenges that you find in West Shemokin? Well, Olivia is definitely the biggest challenge, um, and uh, the Glover girl inside uh, and the rebounds and the boards. So, I'd say they're the two biggest challenges we we need to look at. And um, hopefully uh, we got a game plan put together that will uh, uh, let that happen. Yeah, the Orlowski girl, is, is real. she's a lot like Alexis Lisak in that she comes high post and she shoots the three, but she likes to get to the basket too. That's another challenge. She does, and, and we didn't forget about her. We, we She's in the plan too. So, uh, um, you know, we, we think we're ready, and uh, we'll find out when we step on the floor. Yeah. Now, how many of you girls – play basketball AAU and you've played in the off season against the West Shemokin girls um, or with them even um Alexis Lisak, Emily Wooster and Alexis Newhouse we actually play with Olivia oh yeah Olivia's. she's on our team yeah uh-huh mm-hmm. so this is really a bragging rights game for coming up <laughs> yeah, I guess so <laughs> yeah Oh, it's going to be so much fun to watch the action tonight um, and to play for the Heritage Conference Championship. Uh, there's there's not a lot of people that, have, well, this is the first time uh, that, <laughs> that, you, that, you, that you've ever had the opportunity to play for that. Um, talk about what's going on in the school. Kids talking about it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would guess. Uh, and, and as senior ball ballplayers, um, particularly you, Alicia, uh, Alexis, I'm sorry, and, and, and Morgan, uh, senior ball players on this basketball team, um, what a way to cap a career, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Morgan, uh, down through the years, we've watched you as uh, you're such. I always say that uh, they don't need the broom uh, to, or the, the dust mop for the floor because you're usually cleaning the yeah. floor with your uniform. I'm all over it. <laughs> <laughs> um, a- against a team like this, and Katie Glover is, she's awful tough down low. Yes, you is. know that you're in for it tonight, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. Yep. You're good with it. Yep. Uh huh. And and as a senior, it just must mean a lot to be able to play for this championship. This is your only chance, right? It only yeah. happens once. You got to make the best of it. Yeah. And and Lexus Leesock, the same thing for you. This is this is your one chance to play in the Heritage Conference Championship yep. game. Yep. It's been a great ride. I can't wait for tonight. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. Mm-hmm. Well, ladies, we're looking forward to this happening tonight, and uh, and then you get ready for the District Six playoffs. You probably haven't even started talking about that yet, have you? No, a little bit. We oh, just yeah? talked about what we're ranked and who we might be facing. Mm-hmm. Let's get uh, Coach Lasher back in here and visit with him a little bit uh, about this happening tonight. Um, uh, Coach, uh, and you've got your assistants with you as well here today uh, or, or the other coaches on, on the staff with you, and, uh, and we thank them for coming along too. Uh, we get set for the District 6 playoffs. This is a ball club that uh, is a veteran team that is – State playoff tested. You had them in the state playoffs in a tremendous run last season. This game tonight helping to set the tone for the playoffs, I would assume, for you? It absolutely does. Uh, West Shemokin is a very good quality team, and the teams we will be facing in district playoffs and in state playoffs are, are quality teams. And So this is just uh, going to help us get ready for it. You've been working with this particular group of girls now for a lot of years, and they've played a lot of basketball for you. 
when you get them on the practice floor and, uh, and they say, oh, here comes Coach Lasher, this is what we're going to are, – are they so set in the routine that you have set for them that you, you have to surprise them from time to time? Or, or they just – you know what to expect from them and they know what to expect from you. I've got a great deal of confidence in them. Um, and, and they probably by now know um, what to expect from me and I them. So uh, to answer your question, yes. <laughs> <laughs> It was an either-or question, and he answered it yes. So, well, you're not helping me at all here. Uh, the Heritage Conference Championship Night is going to be happening tonight at the Cavalci Complex. We want to see that place absolutely uh, filled up. Um, <laughs> here's I, I, this, these notes just keep coming another, another over my shoulder. From listener. Yes, another listener question says he never knew Coach Rick Brown had such a loud mouth. <laughs> Uh, you, would you like to defend yourself in any way here? I, I, don't, I don't have to. I mean, I'm used to being kind of a head coach with AEU, so this has been a learning experience for me to have to stay on my rear end and try to keep quiet as much as I can. Uh, but, but Tom's been great, uh, letting me run offense and so forth. And then these guys, you know, they pick up everything. I mean, we draw things up the night before games, and they get it within 15 minutes, and then they run it to perfection in a game. So they're... Uh, they're yeah. fantastic. So. One of the things that we do notice about this particular team is that if one aspect of the game isn't working, if you know, because that can be contagious. The the outside shot doesn't hit, doesn't go down, and and that seems to go through a team uh, in in any sport, but in in this particular one especially, um, that's not working. They're very adaptable to get down low. If, if it's yeah. not working outside, get to the rim. Yeah, I mean, if you look at all five of, of the starters and even you know going seven, eight deep, um, they can all play high low. They can all shoot threes. They can you know we get Lexi and Mo uh, working the elbows, and then how slashing just opens it up for Emily, and then it opens it up for Maggie and Kennedy to hit three. So it's inside out. Um, like Penn's Manor, we knew we could go inside. So, you know, we kind of had a plan for house, and it was her job to get inside and then dish or shoot. So that's what we did. So it just depends on who we're playing. And then these guys will design a, a game plan or a scheme, and these guys run it, uh, like I said, to perfection. They really do. They're a blessing to coach. So I'm there very lucky. There you go. And I don't think you have a really big one. You're, you're, yeah, I'm all right. You're good. Yeah. Nice. I, I haven't got a tactical all year, so that's yeah. the first time that that's ever happened. So, um, yeah, but they're 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 fantastic. They're the leaders, and I'll just give them a little more kudos because in practice, you know, from day one, you know, we set goals, so we're we're prepared for a state run, we're prepared for a conference run, but at the same time, they don't lose focus, and they're the hardest workers. They lead us, and when we do sprints, they're the first ones done. They're the first ones, or the best ones shooting threes. They lead by example, so the rest of the 12 other girls uh, have to step up and play their best to, to get some time. So these guys are the reason we're where we are. So Terrific. Ladies, the best of luck to you tonight. The Cavalci Complex, 6 o'clock is tip-off. Uh, so I guess we're ready huh, for this basketball game tonight. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and they're going for the Heritage Conference Championship against a worthy opponent, uh, the team from the West Shemokin, and the West Shemokin and Wolves. We're looking forward to it. Hope that you are as well. Thanks, ladies, for coming in this morning. Thank you. It is Indiana in the Morning, presented as always by First Commonwealth Bank. It's AM 1160 WCCS and 101.1 FM.